Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Arabic Khatawat. In this practice, we're going to go over our third story in the series of short stories where we introduce students to new learning strategies on how they can retain vocab, paraphrase, activate their vocabulary, and of course, um, build their own sentences. In today's video, I will be introducing three different strategies where we will go over the phrases first and then we will read the story, of course. And we have a couple other steps that we're going to go over, which will include um, translated sets of Arabic vocab and some other tools we can use to make sure that we retain the vocab. And we are also able to read um, and articulate certain sounds. So our story today is the wise man. Some of you have seen this before in previous live study sessions with Arabic khatawat, but this time we're introducing the story in a different setup. Um, please look at the phrases, grab your pen and paper, and we'll begin ala barakatillah. Ar-rajul al-hakim. Ar-rajul al-hakim. Hada huwa unwan al-qissa. 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 The story. ونقول قصة قصيرة. قصة قصيرة. الرجل. الرجل الحكيم. يحكى. We learned this before. يحكى أن. It is told. يحكى أن. كان هناك رجل حكيم. There was a wise man, and we have a really long list, over 60 different phrases. كان هناك رجل حكيم يأتي إليه الناس من كل مكان. So the first part or the first strategy is we're going to break down this short story into short sentences where each phrase is read as it appears to you here in the, this um, layout. When you read the story, you read two words, three words, or four words, but you read a complete chunk um, or a complete um, category. In this one over here, I'm saying, يُحْكَى أَنَّ So if I'm reading it, I would go, يُحْكَى أَنَّ instead of يُحْكَى and pause and أَنَّ so I would say, يحكى أن يحكى أن كان هناك رجل حكيم. I have to train myself to read this entire sentence. I'll just zoom closely so you can see what I'm reading. كان هناك رجل حكيم. كان هناك رجل حكيم. Read it all at once. There was a wise man. كان هناك رجل حكيم يأتي إليه الناس. People come to him. يأتي إليه الناس. يحكى أن كان هناك رجل حكيم يأتي إليه الناس من كل مكان. From every place. Meaning from every corner of... Um, the universe as a phrase. Min kulli makan. From every place. Min kulli makan. See, I'm reading two words. Then one, two, three, four, four words. And I'm translating at the same time. So this is my first strategy. Read the words as they appear to you in the sentence. Meaning you break down your reading. Then you translate those broken down phrases or chunks. And then you reread. So... You break down the sentences. You read those chunks as they appear to you, right, in this practice. And then you translate. So, يُحْكَى أَنَّ كَانَ هُنَاكَ رَجُلٌ حَكِيمٌ يَأْتِي إِلَيْهِ الناس مِنْ كُلِّ مَكَان From every corner. And makan is place. And as we learned people in previous stories, and then wise, and told. It is told. يُحْكَى أَنَّ This is مَبْنِي لِلْمَجْهُولِ Just a reminder. مَبْنِي لِلْمَجْهُولِ Which is 
referring to an unknown doer. Majhul is unknown, not recognized. So the second part, we got three, four. Now we are on our fifth phrase. By the time we go over the, these phrases, um, we should be able to recognize them in the full reading comprehension. So we break down, we go over it, and then we are going to introduce ourselves to the full reading. That way we can uh, check our comprehension. If you still don't have your pen and paper, go grab it and join us. So we are on our fifth um, sentence. Lis Tisha Lis. One more time. Lis Tisha Ratihi. Lis Tisha Ratihi. And I'm blending. Blending here. Lis Tisha Ratihi. I'm going في كل مرة في كل مرة في كل مرة في كل مرة لكنهم 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 So I read. Now I'm going to translate. لاستشارته To consult him. So I have a complete sentence here. To consult and him. Three words in English, but one word in Arabic. They're all connected. Fi kulli marra. Fi kulli marra. Fi kulli marra. In each time. Fi kulli marra. Fi in. But I'll just translate it as each time. But it's in each time. Lakinnahum. But they. لكنهم لكنهم and it's one word لكنهم كانوا يحدثونه عن كانوا يحدثونه عن كانوا يحدثونه عن I'm reading, rereading, and rereading because you're also improving your reading and articulation sound so you can um, you're able to speak كانوا يحدثونه عن كانوا يحدثونه عن and this should be the ninth نفس المشاكل والمصاعب نفس المشاكل والمصاعب same نفس المشاكل والمصاعب the tenth التي تواجههم التي تواجههم التي تواجههم even if I'm not with you you know you're able to discipline yourself and read along كانوا عن they were speaking to him about نفس المشاكل والمصاعب same problems and struggles so we have over here the translation. See, we're still sticking to the same technique in one practice. Read, translate, um, and reread. Or you can go read, read, and translate. Kanu yuhadithunahu an. They were. Um, they were. I'll just put here are. They were. Yuhadith. But the verb is haddatha, talk to, about, an, about. So I'm giving you the verbatim translation. Um, over here you have who, meaning to him. Kanu yuhadithunahu an. Kanu yuhadithunahu an. Nafs al machakil. I'll zoom in a little bit closer so you can see the phrases that we're reading only and not get distracted by other parts. Yalla. Nafs al-mashakil. Mashakil problems and that's plural. Al-mashakil. Al-mashakil. Read again. Read again. Al-mashakil. Al-mashakil. Wa al-masaib. Wa al-masaib. Wa al-masaib. It's al-al but look how I'm blending. Nafs al-mashakil. Wa al-masaib. I'm skipping the alif. 
And this is how I'm blending. نفس المشاكل والمصاعب. And by placing case ending, it makes my reading smooth. نفس المشاكل والمصاعب. التي التي that referring to feminine. تواجههم تواجههم تواجههم. And over here, I have to go who, whom. Who whom? Who whom? To wage who whom? To wage who whom? And the only pause you have is when you take your breath. You catch your breath and you go to wage who whom? Um, that faces them, faces them. Or because it's plural, then that face them. We're talking about problems over here and obstacles. There we go. So we finished like 10 phrases. Now, that exact same strategy is going to be applied on this other set. And this should help us read uh, more accurately and cohesively as well. Hatta sa'ima minhum. Hatta. سَأِمَ مِنْهُمْ حَتَّى سَأِمَ مِنْهُمْ Read it again, read it again, and read it again. حَتَّى سَأِمَ مِنْهُمْ حَتَّى سَأِمَ مِنْهُمْ وَفِي يَوْمٍ مِنَ الْأَيَّامِ جَمَعَهُمْ الرَّجُلُ الْحَكِيمُ so if I've seen this word before, I have to focus on jama'ah. And here I'm highlighting my phrases. Hatta sa'ima minhum. Until he got tired of them and he, he got fed up. And we learned sa'ima in another story. Hatta, we have until. And then minhum, from them. But in this phrase, it means like he got fed up fed up of them uh, because you want to give it like more of a an accurate translation in English you say, you say he got fed up with them minhum wa fi yawmin min al ayyam wa fi yawmin min al ayyam and um one day let me just make sure that i got fed up with yeah mm -hmm. So we do say fit up with and then tired of. There we go. وفي يوم من الأيام وفي يوم من الأيام and um, one day. So one day from the days. جمعهم and I need this one. Gathered them. He gathered them. So this is like to gather. جمع and we have جمع. جمعهم he gathered all of them. وقص عليهم وقص عليهم Be careful with this verb قص قص It means to cut Because even when I was trying to find the translation That I would give you قص came to me as cut Because قص يقص But it also means It has two meaning قص To cut And then قص To tell a story and this is the one we have over here, is to tell a story. There you go. So, وَقَصَّ عَلَيْهِمْ وَقَصَّ He told them. And the story is قِصَّ وَقَصَّ عَلَيْهِمْ قِصَّ Then we have نكتة 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 Read it. Oh, sorry. نكتة 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 I don't stop reading even when I'm looking at the word and I'm trying to do something else. My mouth still keeps repeating the word. And this is another strategy for you to take note of. Um, take note of. So, nukta, nukta, nukta. Um, a joke. <laughs> there we go. Tarifa, tarifa, funny. Referring to uh, the joke. So, I would go. Sorry about that. Tarifa. A little blink. Tarifa. Funny. Now my other one. Infajara. 
So he, this is an expression. In Fajara Dahikan, if we're referring to one person, this is an idiomatic expression, meaning he laughed out loud. But if you break it down to a verbatim translation, this is like explode. And then in Fajara Dahikan, we're referring to one person, Dahikan, like he laughed out loud. But Dahikina, referring to the plural, plural masculine. And they laughed out loud. Al Jamiu, everyone. Everyone laughed out loud. And fa is used as a result to refer to results. So everyone laughed out loud. And look at this one. Do not leave anywhere. بِضْعِ دَقَائِقَ قَصَّ عَلَيْهِمْ النُّكْتَةَ ذَاتَهَا مَرَّةً أُخْرَى I'm sure you've seen these words before. Even if you know them, it does not hurt to read and reread and reread because that creates some sort of confidence in terms of um, reminding yourself of the vocab that you've learned before. So, بَعْدَ بِضْعِ دَقَائِقْ A few moments later, <laughs> or a few minutes later. بَعْدَ بِضْعِ دَقَائِقْ قَصَّ عَلَيْهِمَ النُّكْتَةَ ذَاتَهَا بَعْدَ بِضْعِ دَقَائِقَ بَعْدَ بِضْعِ دَقَائِقَ قَصَّ عَلَيْهِمَ النُّكْتَةَ ذَاتَهَا مَرَّةً أُخْرَى after a few minutes. So, bid'ah is few. A few. Daqa'iq minutes. Ba'da bid'ah daqa'iq qassa alayhim an nukta dhataha. The only new word I have is dhataha same itself. Itself. Referring to nukta. So, he told them the exact same um, joke. Marratan ukhra. We learned ukhra. Other. But this one is feminine, and this means another marra ukhra time, another time, or once again. You can also translate it as once again. So I got this. Now I'm done with my second category. Here is your last one, and then we're going to move on to reading comprehension. See if once I go over um, reading the entire reading the entire um, story, are you able to detect meaning and increase your comprehension? Fabtasama, we learned that fa is a result, a way to include result. Fabtasama, fabtasama, adadun qalilun minhum, thumma ma labitha an. So he laughed, or sorry, he smiled, because laugh, dahika, is to laugh, and ibtasama, to smile. Ibtasama. Then I would go, fabtasama, adadun qalilun minhum, a, a few number, or a little number, basically, a little number of them, from them, basically. It's just a few people laughed. ثُمَّ مَا لَبِثَأَنْ And it didn't take long until something happened. So it didn't take him long enough, or it wasn't long enough until. This is a phrase. ثُمَّ مَا لَبِثَأَنْ ثُمَّ مَا لَبِثَأَنْ It didn't take long until. So I'll write it. ثُمَّ then مَا لَبِثَأَنْ It didn't did take long for another action to happen because I have n over here. It didn't long. It didn't take long to do something. Um, so what was the other action? Qassa an nuktata maratan ukhra. Qassa an nuktata maratan ukhra. Qassa an nuktata. مرة 
ثالثة. Oh, third time. قصة. We know it. النكتة. We know that one. فلم يضحك أحد. And here is the negation. فلم didn't in the past. يضحك laugh. No one. أحد. None. None laughed. So no one laughed. عندها then عندها then عندها عندها ابتسم الحكيم وقال sorry about that blink عندها ابتسم ابتسم الحكيم وقال ابتسم الحكيم وقال what did he say لا يمكنكم أن تضحكوا على النكتة. See, I'm reading it all at once. لا يمكنكم. You cannot, all of you, to أن تضحكوا ح ح حكوا على النكتة نفسها أكثر من مرة. نفسها أكثر من مرة. نفسها أكثر من مرة. نفسها أكثر من مرة. You cannot laugh at the same joke more than once. أكثر. And the new word I have here is more. And we learn تضحك. And you cannot. Referring to you plural. All right. Now we have two more and that's it. We will go to reading comprehension. I hope you're writing down because this is a real um, interactive class where you are listening, you are writing, and you are also um, improving your self-discipline. Self-discipline, self-discipline. You're sitting here without the supervision of an instructor, meaning you are a self-learner. You have to go over all of these steps. Falimada. فَلِمَاذَا تَسْتَمِرُّونَ بِأَتَّذَمُّرِ وَأَلْبُكَائِ Why do you continue? And the verb I have is استمر here. على نفس المشاكل في كل مرة. So I'll highlight. فَلِمَاذَا? Why? Do you all continue? فَلِمَاذَا تَسْتَمِرُّونَ بِأَتَّذَمُّرِ تَذَمُّرِ وَالْبُكَائِ Complaining and crying. And I have تَذَمُّر as a noun and البُكَاء as a noun crying uh, or weeping. Upon the same. على نفس المشاكل We learned it. Problems في كل مرة. Each time. في كل مرة. فلماذا تستمرون بالتذمر والبكاء على نفس المشاكل في كل مرة. I think we're done with the first part. Oh wow, ما شاء الله, ما شاء الله, ما شاء الله. <laughs> It looks like we worked quite hard on this. Okay. Let's number our phrases before we jump into learning the other strategy, which is improving your reading comprehension. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh, oh, let me do it in Arabic then. 19. Aishroon, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. قرأنا 28. 28 full phrases. Now, here is our reading comprehension. Since we explained the first part, now we need to read and read in a way for us to recall these words that we have learned. Remember, we went over 28 different chunks or phrases or full sentences that were introduced to us in the same uh, pattern you will um, use as you read. Yellow. Now we're going to read all together. And make sure you are looking at the text. I will try not to highlight because we went through the first 
um, phase or the first strategy of highlighting the phrases. Now, this is a complete plain text with no vocalization. Read and check your comprehension. Yalla. Arrajul al hakim Yuhka annahu kana hunaka rajulun hakim yati ilayhi annas min kulli makanin listisharatih. Lakinnahum kanu fi kulli marra yuhad تثونه عن نفس المشاكل والمصاعب التي تواجههم حتى سئم منهم. I have to pause here. I didn't prepare myself for that, so I'm gonna read all over again. يحكى أنه كان هناك رجل حكيم يأتي إليه الناس من كل مكان. لاستشارته لكنهم كانوا في كل مرة يحدثونه عن نفس المشاكل والمصاعب التي تواجههم حتى سئم منهم Now I prepared myself for that full stop حتى سئم منهم وفي يوم من الأيام جمعهم الرجل الحكيم وقص عليهم نكتة طريفة فانفجر الجميع ضاحكين بعد بضع دقائق قص عليهم النكتة ذاتها مرة أخرى فابتسم عدد قليل منهم ثم ما لبث أن قص النكتة مرة ثالثة فلم يضحك أحد عندها ابتسم الحكيم وقال لا يمكنكم أن تضحكوا على النكتة ذاتها أكثر من مرة فلماذا تستمرون بالتذمر والبكاء على نفس المشاكل في كل مرة I'll go over it one more time, but this time I will read at my normal pace. And I know it might sound a little bit redundant that you're doing this over and over, but we're exploring this text from a learner's perspective, not from um, someone who is lecturing you without putting themselves in the exact same um, learning process. So we have to go through the exact same process that a learner needs to um, kind of follow. Yalla. Arrajul al-Hakim. Yuhka annahu kana hunaka rajulun hakim yati ilayhi annas min kulli makan listisharatih. Lakinahum kanu fi kulli marratin yuhadithunahu an nafs al-mashakil wal-masaib التي تواجههم حتى سئم منهم وفي يوم من الأيام جمعهم الرجل الحكيم وقص عليهم نكتة طريفة فانفجر الجميع ضاحكين بعد بضع دقائق قص عليهم النكتة ذاتها مرة أخرى فابتسم عدد قليل منهم ثم ما لبث لبث ثم عفوا ثم ما لبث ثم ما لبث ثم ما لبث ان قص النكتة مرة ثالثة فلم يضحك احد عندها ابتسم الحكيم وقال لا يمكنكم ان تضحكوا على النكتة نفسها اكثر من مرة فلماذا تستمرون بالتذمر والبكاء على نفس المشاكل في كل مرة؟ Alright, in the chat or in the live chat or in the comment section or with your instructor, let them know or let me know if you are able to comprehend um, or understand the full text when it was written 
read to you um, at a normal pace and also slowly. So when the text was read to you, were you able to comprehend it? Now, the third strategy. There we go. The third strategy is we are, um, this is our third part. We are breaking down the entire text into single words or two words. If I'm saying single words, I'm referring to the English translation because sometimes you have like yom, it means one day, um, but it's one expression, but you have one and then you have day, but it's a day. Um, and all of this gives us a more of um, an organized layout to look at each word and see if they were part of the high frequency phrases used in the stories that we introduced in the playlist. We went over story number one, story number two, and then third story. But what we did is that the first time we introduced the entire text, then uh, we did the exact same strategy on our second story. But the third story, we started from phrases. Then we read the story. Now we broke down the entire um, text into smaller words. And we counted how many words we can read in each set. If you go over this, I will try to post this on a separate uh, video where I will read and you have to place all of this with its English translation. I do have the English translation in the following um, worksheets, but I, I'd like you to go over it first. So here's the thing. You have the first set that has about 23 words. So you go over 23 words. Were you able to check them all? And then you have 17 words and you have 20. So in total, it's like almost 60 words, but they come to you in phrases. Um, I'm just referring to them as words because I am numbering them in a way that you are remembering the entire thing as one, one uh, word. So here is our third strategy. I hope this comes to you as an easy, self-learning, self-disciplined um, uh, approach where you take a text, you break it down into three different strategies. And I'm just going to show you the entire process that we have followed. We read this and then translated, reread vocalization. Then we read without vocalization or highlighting. Now we broke down this entire um, list into three sets. And then, of course, we have the English translation, which I'm not going to share with you at this point until you go over the translation uh, or um, your own review. So I hope this helped, inshallah. I'll read the stories um, again in the form of single words. And then your part will be to translate. So inshallah, I'll see you in the upcoming video. Hope this was helpful. Mama Hassalama.